Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video. Rats are very social. Like dogs, they can be our best friends too. So, her name is Gundu Mami and uh, I usually call her as uh, Kumi. So, she is about uh, one year and uh, four months old. She is a rescue rat, not a pet rat. So, when I found her on the street, she was as small as a peanut. Even her eyes were closed. Um, so then finally I found her and I took, took to the place where I work. I just checked her vitals and took some advice from other vets who were uh, already uh, specialized in uh, taking care of exotic pets. And yeah. I was pretty successful in raising her. They are very playful and they know how to communicate with humans. Uh, rats are easy to maintain and they can adapt well to your house. Like dogs, rats can communicate well. If they, if they are very hungry, they can tell you. And uh, if they want to play, they will always invite you. They will always follow you wherever you go. Some rats can even sleep close to you. My rat Kumi loves to pamper and she loves head massage. If well maintained, rats can live up to 3 to 4 years. They are mostly nocturnal and sleep throughout the day. So rats are omnivores. Their system can digest anything. They have a very strong GI immunity and very rarely they fall sick. Coming to the rat house, uh, they love a very uh, spacious place and they love to run a lot. In wild, they can run up to many miles in just one night. So an ideal rat house should have a water bottle and very soft litter material. Uh, which should be capable of absorbing all the urine. Proper litter material will reduce the humidity and ammonia level in the environment. There are various studies that show raise in ammonia levels in rat house can predispose them to respiratory diseases. So rats are burrowing mammals. Deeper litter material will facilitate their burrowing behavior. So the temperature of rat house should be maintained between 21 to 25 degrees Celsius. And they, and they do get affected with uh, heat. So their main mode of thermoregulation is through their tails and their paw. I'm going to teach you how to restrain a rat. Going to the health related things, uh, you need to ideally take take your rat pets to the veterinarian at least two to three times in a year and there are no vaccination for rats however deworming is must if you are uh, if you are uh, frequently feeding them with raw fruits or vegetables rat incisors are elodont which means they will never stop growing this is why uh, regular vet visits are important because they will trim the teeth so healthy signs of rat is smooth hair coat and sparkling eyes so just like humans rat can also get a lot of health problems especially old rats can get uh, various types of tumors they can get respiratory infections uterine infections etc if there is any abnormal discharge in their nose then uh, probably they are not healthy you need to uh, consider taking them to the vet so thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video till then bye